Hi, I'm Tiana from Adventures in Costuming, and this is my first costume vlog. Yay! So I'm going to start out by talking a little bit about myself and, um, yeah, just me. <laughs> um, and then I want to show around my sewing space, which is pretty much what you see right here. Um, and then show some of my sewing books that I make for my costumes. They're not really books, binders. I'm 18. I just turned 18 yesterday, actually, and um, I've been sewing costumes since 2012. Um, I'm mostly self-taught. My mom taught me the basic sewing skills that she knew, and I've taught myself from there. I really love costumes so much. Um, I just, I love seeing them in movies. I love historical costumes. I just, I love them so much. I get excited whenever I get to you know, see an exciting costume, and especially if I get to see it in person. Um, I got to go to the Seattle Opera House a couple months ago, and I got to see a few of their costumes, and it was just really cool to see that. Okay. My favorite costumes are from probably Star Wars, Ever After, and hmm, Pirates of the Caribbean. I love the costumes in all of those movies. Especially Star Wars. I'm a huge Star Wars fanatic, so don't even get me started on that. I also love costumes from Broadway shows. I really love Broadway. And um, I love the costumes from Rodgers and Hammerstein's Cinderella on Broadway. Um, the show just closed. Um, right now it's on tour, though. But the costumes, Ella's Ball Game especially, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. You have to look at it. Um, so I love that, and I love Phantom of the Opera, too. Um... The stage version the film version is kind of meh but the costumes in it are the redeeming factor <laughs> but i love the stage version i love everything about it the music the costumes and just the actors the singing the music everything about it's just amazing and i'm actually working on recreating christine day's wishing dress from the stage version um which is really exciting um and it's just the costumes in it are gorgeous like just, yeah, there are no words for it. <laughs> I also love Wicked. Wicked is another amazing Broadway show. The costumes in it are also fantastic. So if you aren't familiar with any of these, I definitely recommend you at least take a look at the costumes because they're phenomenal. Just take a few minutes to Google it and you won't be sorry. They're gorgeous. So now I'm going to show you around my um, sewing space just sort of so you know what sort of I do and a couple of things that I really like and how I work and I personally think I have a pretty neat sewing space considering it's so small so I, I hope you like it. Okay so this is my sewing table which is just a plain desk. Um, it's really messy underneath. I'm currently working on getting some drawers and whatnot for it. Um, I have my sewing machine which is my best friend. <laughs> Um, I have this cutting mat, which I actually found at a garage sale, which was awesome, and it works really great. I just have, along the back wall, I have a jar with rulers and pens and pencils and pinking shoes and whatnot, just whatever. Um, and then I have my elastic jar. I, I really like mason jars. They're, they make organizing so much better. And then I have, like, five million pins in here, so of all sorts of sizes, um, <laughs> You can never have too many safety pins. And then I have buttons here, which I have a ton more buttons on my shelves. And then these are my sequins for my Rose Tyler dress, which I'm working on. Um, this is my pin cushion for the pins that I use on my wig. I like to keep them separate. Oh, and I keep a calculator over here because I really hate math. And I'm not that good at it, so I always like to have a calculator. Um, I have a couple of notebooks here which I will show you guys more in a little bit and my wig is just sort of here um I have more pins more jars with bobbins and sewing notions and whatnot and just stuff over there um and then next I have on my walls I have two different boards I have one which is just my inspiration board with just all sorts of things that I just really love everything from favorite movies, to Broadway shows, to pieces of lace I found, um, tassels that I used in costumes and inspirations, Star Wars pictures, <laughs> a 
Phantom of the Opera, Cinderella, my fabric swatch for my Christine Dye dress, um, vintage fashion photos, lace, all sorts of stuff. Just anything I find inspiring or just really love, it goes on this board. And then on this board, it's just a cork board, um, I keep pictures for my latest costumes on here. And right now, I am working on my Christine Dye costume, and I'm also working on recreating a 1949 Pan Am stewardess uniform for the Historic Flight Foundation. So I have pictures up here, which are part of my research. And then back here, I have pictures from Padme's packing gown, which I've been working on for like two years now. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just like to keep a couple of pictures up on my wall for reference, easy access, and that I can look at all the time that remind me, oh, I gotta get back to this, you know, whenever I walk into my room. Um, I also keep my, this thing, whatever it's called, on here because it's just the best place I have for it. So this is probably one of the most important sewing tools I have, which is my dress form, which I made myself with the help of my mom and dad. Um, it's just a basic PVC stand, and I made it out of duct tape and covered it with a couple layers of batting, stuffing stuff, <laughs> um, and put a corset on it because it wasn't my same, same size as me after I added that, and then I put a t-shirt over top of that, and then I just keep all sorts of pins up here, and I call her Manny. She's my best friend next to my sewing machine. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to do half the stuff I do without her. So, um, it's a cheap way to get a sewing form, and it actually works really well. Okay, so I have a couple different books here. Um, starting off with this one, it's just a notebook I keep, and I keep all sorts of notes for when I'm working on mock-ups or the actual costumes. I have all sorts of notes. I draw patterns in here that I'm working on, um, um, shopping lists, um, <laughs> for when I need to get my costume material and, you know, whatever stuff, um, but I've got all sorts of notes in here for all sorts of things and patterns that I trace out from books, um, I measure out in here, put the dimensions and whatnot, so that's what this is for, just for any random notes, and I highly recommend keeping something like this if you don't already because it will save your life especially if you're working on sewing patterns and um like if you need to make an alteration to the pattern or something write it down in there so that you don't forget when you make the real thing instead of on your mock-up you know um this is my costume sketchbook which is fairly new um, so I just have a couple of sketches in here right now, but, um, these are reference pictures for my wishing dress, which I'm working on. I just like to sketch everything out before I make it so I can see the seams and I always see more, um, when I'm drawing it than when I'm just looking at it. So I have sketches of things, petticoats, um, patterns, and research. I been getting into medieval clothing, um, it's something I really like, um, an era I really love, so I was doing research and just drawing some things out, plus it gives me some drawing exercises, <laughs> which I always like, because I'm a self-taught artist as well, and need all the practice I can get. And this is for my graduation, which will be this June or July, I'm having a graduation party, which will be a Phantom of the Opera themed masquerade, which I'm so excited about. And I'm designing my own dress, and this is the design I ended up with. So I'm really excited about that, and I'm going to learn a lot of new techniques on this dress, which will be exciting. <laughs> a little nerve wracking just because there are things I've never done before, coacher sewing, and so yeah. I'm a little nervous about that, but I'm sure it'll all end up good. In the end. Okay, next I have my sewing binders, which are just regular three ring binders with, well, everything in them. <laughs> I keep all sorts of things in here. I have 
it's not, this one's not very organized because it's my main one. I have like seven or eight different costume binders, but um, yeah, this one is just for whatever costumes. I have one for my Christine Dye dress. Um, I have one for Disney costumes, one for Broadway costumes, and just, I put them in different categories. I've also been making these costume sheets, which um, I made in a Google Doc and print them out. And basically it's just um, information, um, so I don't forget um, like what the costume is, who the original designer was, um, a brief costume analysis, washing instructions, um, all the pieces so I don't have to try and figure that out the day I'm trying to wear it, you know, for Halloween or whatever, like, oh, do I have everything? I can just look here and just make sure I have everything. And then also what materials I used, how much I used, and the patterns, and any other materials and that sort of stuff. Which I, I found really helpful. It's still under construction. <laughs> the, uh, yeah, I'm still working on it, but yeah. I keep in here, um, like things I've printed out. Um, I got this from Historical Sewing. Her blog is amazing. Um, just, this is one of her free printables. Um, I also have other free printables I've got with, um, tutorials for drafting drawers, which is, this is the one I got from the Sewing Academy, which I used for my drawers. And the chemise, which I also use for my chemise. Uh, it also has they have some other tutorials and stuff too, which I printed out. Um, and then I have over here my costume reference pictures, which I sort out with just yellow sticky notes and I write the name of the costume or the person or whatever. And these are reference pictures from when I made Marion Ravenwood's um, Cairo, <clears throat> sorry, Cairo outfit from Indiana Jones Raiders of the Lost Ark. And then my Daniel the Barbarack pictures, and I have Pan Am reference pictures, um, Rose Tyler, Oops, got some loose ones in there, and then just miscellaneous pirate and other stuff, <laughs> which I just keep these all, I print all these out at the library because it's free, I get like 70 free sheets a week, so I print these all out at the library and that's why they're black and white because that's all they offer, for free at least. Um, and then back here I have more on specific costumes, um, costume analysis, write-outs, and, well, looks like just one right now. <laughs> oh, no, I have more. And these are, this was from my first costume, so this was the first costume I ever made, or second, technically. It's the first one I made by myself, um, and just sketches of different aspects of the costume and then notes for it, and yeah, Brulars, I need to move this to a different folder because I have a Star Wars one, but just notes on patterns, um, Marion Ravenwood, more notes, on just uh, sketches, really bad sketches, <laughs> and then I have patterns that I printed out also, just in the back in sheet protectors, and then just stuff back here. Um, I have, like I said, a ton of books with, for different genres, or, you know, a Disney one, and whatnot, but I want to show you my Christine Dye one as well. Um, you'll notice I have these sticky arrow things on here. I stick those on the pictures to note something. There's a seam right there, and I wanted to remember that. And there's a seam here, which I wanted to also remember, so I stick those on there and then I write seam or something. So, this is the inside. This is a sketch I did based on one of Maria Bornson's um, sketches for this dress. Um, I also like to get color swatches from the, well, wherever. I get them from Fridmeyer, um, just to figure out the color. Um, I keep those in here. I have a ton of just random pictures here. I keep 
everything I have a costume analysis sheet like I was showing earlier here um, I keep the receipts for everything so I can know how much I spent on it in the end um, uh, so this is for my wig or some of the supplies for the wig there and then so I have the analysis of every different aspect of the costume that I chose from different productions because there's like 10 different productions of this dress which I have labeled out here on the sides. There's European, newer UK, newer US, um, Germany, and the 25th anniversary. And these are just, um, these are what I printed out at the library. They're reference pictures um, from the different productions so I can research the dress um, and see all the different versions here and just have references. Um, let me go to the US. Let's see. So just lots of different pictures. If they're higher quality, I make them bigger. If they're not, I keep them smaller. Um, yeah. So all sorts of different little variations in each production, but I like having lots of different um, reference pictures just to see. So I can pick and choose what I want and have lots of pictures so I can view seams and because one seam you see in one view you might not be able to see in another view. And there's actually quite a few pictures um, which is really awesome because most Broadway productions don't have a lot of pictures of their costumes and especially not like these but Phantom is so big that they have so many different pictures of just everything. And these are from the 25th anniversary, which I took the screenshots of myself, just for references on the wig and the bustle and whatnot. And you get some really interesting faces when you <laughs> do screenshots, so especially of Hadley. <laughs> oh yeah, and that one. <laughs> yeah. But that's my Christine Dye book, which is really very helpful to have. Okay, I have one last book, um, which is my color book. I mentioned before I get color swatches. Well, this is where I keep them. <laughs> um, I put just plastic um, sheet protectors in here with a white piece of paper in between, and I tape these on so I can, I can move them if I need to, put them with a costume, or just rearrange them, or whatever I need. So I separate them out. I have pink, I have pinkish, purplish, whatever that is, peach, I have greens, I have blues, I have just everything here. And so I just have all sorts of colors for references. Um, Fred Meyer has these inspiration chips, which I really like. And there's some really cool ones, so I just keep those on a page. Um, I have yellows, I have browns, I have purples, I have oranges, I have everything in here. So, yeah, it's really helpful to have these because sometimes I'm like, I need a color, but I don't know, I, I need something to reference for me with when I go fabric shopping, but I don't have anything. So, this is a great way to do that, figure out your color, and then take it with you to the fabric store and find the closest thing to it. It works really well. So, I guess that's it. Um, please let me know if you like this video, um, and if you have any critiques for anything, I'm always open to suggestions. Um, and if you have any ideas for future topics, please let me know because I have a couple of ideas, but I'm sure that I will be looking for ideas soon. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye.